we're gonna be unboxing this today. Oh my god, I thought I cut my hair, but these are too dull. It didn't cut my hair. I forgot to say thank you so much Kodak for sending me this camera. This is the Kodak Smile Classic Instant Print Digital Camera that uses zinc film. Thank you so much Kodak. Okay, back to the soundtrack. Okay, it just made a sound. Okay, hold on. Okay, let me turn this off again. Okay, turn. Oh, that's so cute! And it does come with a micro USB cable. It just doesn't come with the adapter. So you just have to hook it up to an adapter. But I'm pretty sure everybody has that nowadays. And then it also... Oh, that's so cute. Okay, it kind of sounds like my washer and dryer. Okay, and it also comes with a 10 pack of film already in the box. But thank you so much, Kodak, for sending me an extra 20 exposure. I'm gonna have so much fun. Ah! I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna take a picture of the flower. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. It sounds like my washing machine. That sounds like my rice cooker. Is it taking a picture? I don't know. Yeah, it took a picture. Good, 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 good. <laughs> hey, um, small problem. It wasn't recording. Is it onions? I should smell it. Is it onions? I'm pretty sure this is green onion. Mm -hmm. Smell it. Oh my god, wait. Is that green onions? This is green onion. Maybe green it's onions? some sort of like Taste. wild. Then you'll know. <laughs> Dude, if I die, it's not because of coronavirus. It's because is of it? this strange plant in your backyard. It's neat. <laughs> well, it can't be poisonous. Because the dogs eat it all the time. It smells like onions. Wow, exactly like onions. You should bring us in and your mom's going to be like, yeah, those are <laughs> onions. <laughs> then why am I buying them all the time if we have them? Is that onion out there? Do we have green onion? Yeah. We do? <laughs> guys there is no tripod mount on this so somehow I was just able to mount it on my tripod so this is gonna have to work okay I'm gonna turn on the self timer and then we'll take a picture oh my oh, so how oh, do you, oh. oh wait wait free it's taking a picture okay, I don't think we should both sit wait I think it's Did done did you take a picture? Yeah, it flashed. 
Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, <laughs> I was not fully sitting. I was scared. Yeah, you might get splintered on your butt. Yeah, or it could snap in half because it's big enough for one butt cheek. Wow, it didn't fall fall Let's down. See. That's impressive. Watch it. Watch it's like pointing at the sky. And we're like our heads are like. <laughs> <laughs> like, like that. We got it. We got it. I wasn't ready. Look. I don't think I was. I think good. it was like. Did it take it? And then it took it. <laughs> it like we weren't ready. We definitely look very contrastic. I was so confused. Oh wow. Ooh, yeah, what the hell is going on? Wait. I was using so yeah, much like, both strength. No. Like this. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> did it take it? Yeah. Take a selfie pic. I don't know. Okay, you just keep on smiling until we see something come out. Okay. okay. Did it work? Did they get you? Did they get you, Winky? I don't know. They probably did. Alright.
now guys we are here back in my filming room the basement was just too orange okay so I decided to move back up here but it's not like it's a far move or anything it's just literally up and down the stairs so I'm just gonna wrap up my thoughts on the Kodak Smile Classic it's a zinc printer and also a camera this right here doubles as a zinc camera and also a zinc printer so if you connect this to your phone you can print all of the pictures that you have on your phone onto here and it also comes with a micro SD slot so you can have all of the pictures that you've taken on here on a digital file the ultimate verdict for this is that I think that this is a great alternative to Polaroid if you want that big format, but the film obviously for Polaroid is a little bit pricier. Um, and also if you want to print, being able to print larger format photos more often, I think this is a really, really good photo printer because the format is a lot bigger than Polaroid. I just love wide angle lens, okay? Being able to take pictures of landscape and stuff like that. I just love to take landscape photos. So when I saw 24 millimeters, I was like, heck yes. And this lens does not disappoint, guys. It caught everything, like everything in the background. Because of the wide angle lens, it was able to capture everything in the background and that's what I want. So thank you Kodak for making it a 24 millimeter lens because I honestly love wide angle cameras. If you decide not to take this camera around taking pictures and stuff like that, it is an extremely good camera to print photos from. Probably what I will be using it a lot for the most part because I have a lot of photos on my phone and it's really nice to have a zinc printer like this around being able to print my photos and the zinc print quality is actually really good. If you don't decide to take this camera around taking photos or anything, I think this is a really good zinc camera photo printer because it's a big format okay and I don't think there's many zinc photo printers right now that is this big of a format and then it also doubles as a digital camera when it when you really need it to become a digital camera if not it can stay at home and you can print your photos from it which makes it really nice because not all the time will you be carrying a camera around with you so this being able to print at home makes it really convenient for those of us who didn't bring a camera with us and we only brought a phone and we took a picture of the moment but we weren't able to print it out so this makes it nice because you can print it off and you can have it in your hands when you get home once you take the picture make sure you do not put it in a heat element place because that will ruin it i mean even for polaroid even for fujifilm if you put it in like a heated place your photos are bound to get ruined the chemicals will dry up and it'll crackle and all that nice and fun stuff. Even for zinc photos, you cannot put it in a heated place, but it turned blue because like I mentioned before, this has like a more bluish hue to it as opposed to like a warmer hue. So if you guys are curious, I filmed that video with my cousin when the ban of social distancing was kind of lifted. We are at a point right now in Salt Lake City that we can talk to our friends and family and stuff like that, but from I mean like not necessarily from a distance but like we're not as strict as we were before with social distancing so that's why we filmed that video together and also I've been social distancing with her so she's been quarantining with me this entire time anyways um but yeah I hope that you guys are doing well and uh, I'm okay somebody teach me how to use twitch because I'm so confused with twitch I'm trying to use OBS and I don't know how to use OBS so um Please enlighten me because I really want to learn how to use Twitch. And one of these days, I really want to do an Instagram Live. Please let me know what you guys want to do with, on an Instagram Live. Let me know down below and we can talk about it on my Instagram Live. Alrighty, I will see you guys next time. Also, be safe, okay? Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Adios!